Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for this review we're going to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse JLA Aquaman. So here he is, my favorite version of Aquaman. Um, as you've heard in my other reviews, if you've watched them, the 90s Justice League, Grant Morrison, Howard Porter League is my favorite Justice League. My favorite era of comics is the 90s, and I love Harpoon Hand Arthur Curry here. So, really excited to have this figure. And yeah, I ordered him directly from the McFarlane Toys online store, and he arrived with the rest of the wave a few days ago. So, without further ado, let's get him out of the plastic and take a closer look. All right, so here is Arthur Curry out of the packaging. First, there's the trading card, his beautiful Howard Porter, JLA number one artwork. Love it, love it. So there it is. There's the trading card. Actually represents the character, which is always nice. Then we have the arms of Plastic Man for the Plastic Man build a figure that is coming together nicely. And then here is the figure itself. So this is definitely a retooled version of the original Aquaman that came out, gosh, was it last year or the year before? It was from that winter wave, and that has a more modern, long-haired version, Aquaman, I think from the new, not the new 52, from Rebirth. So this is a retooled version of that, and I'll do a comparison with that in a, in a few minutes so you can see the differences, but whatever, this turned out great. I love that head sculpt. He doesn't have a side eye. I think the eyes are maybe making it look like he it is, but he, there's no side, side eye. He's looking dead ahead. Love the beard, love the hair, love the way the hair is painted. You know, the, the, blonde, the, the blonde locks there. Love the silver around the, the armor. That looks great. The gold they use for the belt looks really nice. The harpoon hand, which does move around so you can adjust it. There is the, the green and the scales. Of course, it would have been great if there was like actually riveted scales or textured scales on the pants but yeah it's a nitpick love the fins in the back there at the back of it and yeah this is a great figure this is the 90s you know harpoon hand aquaman giving me major total justice vibes if you guys you know are, are that old so yeah i love this figure you know articulation you have some good mobility here since it doesn't have a ton of armor really getting in the way of anything so you can make some fun poses with it like so and yeah, it's a really, like, bends over pretty nicely there. Bends the back. Really comes out of his pants there for a bit. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Uh, but yeah, I, I dig this figure. This is, like, the quintessential 90s harpoon hand Aquaman. And I think it looks fantastic. So yeah, it doesn't come with anything else, really. But he doesn't really have that many accessories. Probably would nice to have, like, an extra set of hands for... You know, or an extra hand for some some swimming poses, like straight ahead, things like that. Don't know why I put my hand in front of the camera like that. But yeah, other than that, man, I dig this figure. There is a variant of this as well. I think the only difference with the variant is just colored a little bit differently, I think, to represent, I think, the Total Justice look. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments of what that variant is. But uh, yeah, man, I, I dig this figure. This is my favorite version of Aquaman. I think for me, I even like this more than the DC direct one the dc directed a couple and i gotta say this one for me is my favorite so this will definitely be my main aquaman going forward as far as on the shelf but let's see how he looks next to the original aquaman from mcfarland toys all right so there's the original aquaman that was released and here is the new one and actually it's, it's there's a lot of differences i mean the head sculpt i think is pretty much totally new if i'm not mistaken i guess the hair looks like it's is very similar probably reused but the beard the face this one has uh, some side eye action going on this one does not and yeah they're definitely a different face sculpt there the body also hard to say but this one has so much scales on it but i think you know most of this is pretty new uh, the bottom down though looks pretty pretty similar there so that's about right but man other than that this is a pretty, you know, new figure in my opinion. I mean, yeah, a lot of reused parts, but who cares? Because look how good that looks, man. And I love that this one is in perfect scale with the one on the left. That's just great. It just shows like a progression of his suits, of his looks over the years. So I am totally fine with that. And yeah, I think he looks 
Awesome. So there he is. All right, let's see how he looks next to a couple of other McFarlane figures. This is what I'm here for, my friends. The 90s JLA come together. So we have him next to the new Superman Blue, the uh, Kyle Rayner. This is the one with the darker green that just came out with Kilowog. And yeah, this is my favorite era of comics, my favorite Justice League, and it's coming together nicely. Man, I still need to get that Wally West that is a Walmart exclusive, even though it's not really a 90s Wally West, I feel like he would fit in pretty good with this way, but we definitely need a true 90s Wally West as well, but there you go. So here he is, my friends. There is Aquaman, Harpoon Hand. What do you guys think of this figure? Are you excited for it? Do you like the Harpoon Hand look? Is this your jam? Are you indifferent? You know, let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, I got this from the McFarland Toys online store. I've heard that, as of this recording anyways, the variant or the, uh, yeah, the repaint is showing up at Target's. It feels like all the Platinums, I guess that's what we should call them, are showing up at Target right now. But this should be available everywhere um, in the next month or so. So there you go. There is Aquaman. Let me know as always, as always, if you have any questions, if there's anything else you would like to see. But there he is. There's Arthur Curry and all his piranha aren't hand eaten glory. So yeah, I love this figure. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.